In this video, we will literally take a laser machine to pieces. We will also answer the question, what does a laser machine contain? And we'll find out exactly why these machine components are important when cutting and engraving. Hello, this is Verma. Our channel already has a series of videos on what is a laser machine. You can find the link in the description below the video. There is a lot of informative and interesting content ahead, so subscribe to our channel and expand your knowledge and capabilities with Verma. The main application of a CO2 laser machine is cutting and engraving. Due to a number of advantages of this process, laser cutting and engraving is popular and in demand in many areas, whether it's a hobby or advertising production. What are the advantages of laser machining? Speed of operation. Engraving speed of up to 700 mm per second and cutting speed of up to 500 mm per second, depending on material and thickness. A list of materials, wood, plywood, MDF, chipboards, acrylic, PET, foam and other plastics and polymers, rubber, paranite, stone and ceramics, mirror and glass, cardboard, paper and different types of fabric, fur and leather. No additional replacement tools or consumables are required, apart from the laser emitter. If used correctly, the laser tube will last up to three years, depending on power and manufacturer. Quality of the final product. Laser cutting produces a perfectly straight edge, and for engraving, you can adjust the parameters to achieve the desired image contrast. The small beam diameter allows parts to be placed end to end on the sheet of material, saving material. Low noise and dust level. Flexibility compared to other types of equipment. CO2 laser machines are often used for prototyping. This means that before a product is mass produced, it is first manufactured on a laser machine. Laser machines are easy to use and it takes a minimum of time to master them. You can start full-fledged work in the shortest possible time. Now let's move on to the most interesting part. What does a CO2 laser machine contain? Our engineers recommend paying attention to the components and design features of your future laser machine. After all, even something as simple as the width of the belt affects the quality of cutting and engraving. Let's look at the design elements that make Watson machines unique and so popular with professionals. Bed. During operation, the machine experiences strong inertial loads from the movements of the laser head, especially during engraving. This results in vibrations that have a negative effect on the quality of the work. A sturdy frame will compensate for vibrations, and ideally there should be a reinforced frame inside the housing, such as that used on Watson machines. Housing thickness. Equally important is the thickness of the housing. This should be at least 2 mm, as it also affects the rigidity of the machine, especially with large working areas. Gantry. The thickness and reliability of the gantry affects the preservation of accuracy at high speeds for long-term operation of the machine. Watson machines have a reinforced aluminium gantry that is up to 7 mm thick on the corners. Positioning of engines. If the Y-axis engine is positioned in the corner on the right or left, it will cause distortion during operation. For example, your task is to cut 3 mm diameter holes. With the stepper motor on the right side, the circles will be oval on the left side and rounded on the right. With the stepper motor positioned centrally with distributors, this will not happen. Gearboxes Watson laser machines are fitted with 1 to 4 belt gearboxes. This ratio is designed to split the pitch as the laser head moves and relieve the motor from excessive loads. The engraving is therefore more accurate and the motor lasts longer. Belts Belts are a machine's weak point. If they are not reinforced, they often tear. Watson machines have reinforced belts with a 3M tooth pitch. It has a larger tooth pitch and is not prone to overheating and consequently to stretching. This means you do not have to worry about an uneven edge during laser cutting. End sensors. Inductive end sensors are more reliable than mechanical ones as they are not mechanically affected and therefore last longer. Furthermore, inductive sensors are unaffected by dirt, dust and resins. Watson machines use Fotec inductive sensors with a sensing distance of 5 mm, which eliminates any collision between gantry elements. Blowing hoses. This is another weak point of low-quality laser machines. 
the blowing hose will tear off at attachment point to the laser head if more than one atmosphere is applied. To get a fouling-free cut, two atmospheres are required. The polyurethane blowing hoses on Watson machines are designed to withstand up to eight atmospheres. Strong blowing is required to obtain a clean cut when cutting thick materials, such as 6 to 8 mm plywood. Optics and mirrors system. Pay attention to the working head, especially the lens mount and the attachment of the head to the gantry. Easy access for lens cleaning helps with maintenance. The screws on the mirrors for alignment of the optical path must be easy to use, even if you are using a non-standard laser tube. Mirror mounts must move in all axes for adjustment. There is a detailed video on our channel on how to perform the alignment of a laser machine. You will find the link in the description below the video. Nozzle diameter. Another important detail in a laser machine. The quality of blowing and therefore the quality of the work depends on the nozzle diameter. Laser machines, such as the Watson 0503, have an extended nozzle for less air to be blown during engraving, so that the combustion products are not blown to the surface of the material. Laser cutters, such as the Watson 6090, have a truncated nozzle, which provides a stronger air blow, resulting in better cut quality. On request, the machine can be equipped with two types of nozzles, for engraving and for cutting. Waste Collection Compartment a good machine is equipped with a waste collection compartment. This affects the convenience of operation, additionally reinforces the machine bed, protects the table lifting mechanism and improves smoke extraction. Table lifting mechanism. There are two options for the table lifting, chain and belt mechanism. The chain lifting mechanism is the solution for professional machines as it will not tear during operation. Watson laser machines come with a chain mechanism which allows you to lower and lift the table with very heavy products up to 80 kilograms, such as stone. This is due to the use of an asynchronous motor for lifting and lowering. Safety. The machine's electrics, located near the machine's water supply systems, create a danger. It is safe to locate these components on opposite sides of the machine. Laser tube mountings. Laser tube mounts with adjustment screws make it possible to adjust the position of the laser tube without removing it. Sometimes small adjustments make alignment of the laser machine a lot easier. All Watson laser machines from model 6090 onwards are equipped with such mounts. Blades and a honeycomb table. Anodized blades prevent the laser beam from backfiring onto the material or operator and the iron honeycomb table uses neodymium magnets to hold thin materials such as fabrics and leather. Potentiometer. The potentiometer on the body of the machine allows the emission power to be changed manually by means of a regulator. This allows finer manual adjustment, extends the engraving possibilities and makes it possible to set lower values than those that can be set programmatically. The potentiometer is particularly used when matting acrylic. As a conclusion, when selecting a laser machine, pay attention to the components and design features of the model you choose. Watson continually develops machines based on feedback from engineers, customers and its dealers around the world. You can find out more about how to choose a laser machine for your tasks on our YouTube channel. If you need advice on laser or milling equipment, please contact Verma Managers and we will answer all your questions, as well as perform test cutting or engraving. We have done our best to make this video useful to you, so if you like it, please subscribe to the channel and press like. And if you still have any questions, post them in the comments. Our engineers are happy to answer them. This is Verma. See you in the next video.